know that in people who have established heart disease, that their level of C-reactive protein also can foretell elevated cardiovascular risk. And then finally, well, of course, all people with ACS will have a striking elevation in C-reactive protein because of their acute phase response mm -hmm. due to the acute injury. But those who have the higher levels of C-reactive protein have a worse prognosis in follow-up than those who stratify to the lower levels. So ranging from primary prevention to secondary prevention, C-reactive protein appears to provide useful prognostic information, and importantly, above and beyond the traditional risk factors. There are many more publications about these biomarkers than ones that will become actually clinically practical and will be proved valid. Mm -hmm. And some of the ones which have raised the greatest interest include um, the brain naturetic uh, pro protein, because uh, that not only can disclose information about heart failure, but also information about global cardiovascular risk. And what, what's interesting about the biomarker field is you might be able to select biomarkers that report on different pathogenic pathways and combine them. I'm personally very excited about this result because I started working on inflammation and atherosclerosis and I was very lonely, I will tell you, 25 years ago. And to see an inflammatory marker be used to guide therapy in an effective way is a tremendous vindication for me for the inflammation hypothesis. And I hope that uh, your readers and your uh, medical public will be able to judge for themselves when the results of this study are published later this year.